Good afternoon, Office Club. Welcome back, channel, and welcome back to FS Daily News. Well, I thought maybe start doing FS Daily News at 8 a.m. Well, I guess not. I think it actually seems a little bit more easier to do it at noon. So let's just keep it the way it is just for right now. Today in news, we got an update on Custom Modney's new project, a brand new harvester. Plus, speaking of harvesters, Mac Trucker 921 has some news on his new harvester. Plus, testing list is here, and there is 23 mods on that list. Now, question of the day. What mod would you like to see in Farming Simulator? Pretty easy one, right? Let me know in the comments. Remember, before we get to news, make sure to hit the like button, smack that sub button, and ring that bell. Now, roll that intro. Let's see this news. Okay, welcome back. That first piece of news we have today is from Agrotono, and this is about his T7000 and T6000. It is now finalized, and it has been sent for testing. Uh, that was actually last Thursday he sent it for testing. But anyways, here is some mod specs on it. The T6000, price is 135000 power 178, 228, 193, 243, 201, and the 251 CVs. Power models, you have the T6070, the T6070 chip tuning, the T680, the T680 chip tuning, the T690, and the T6090 chip tuning. Uh, tires, you got the Continental, Michelin, Midas, Trailboard, and Vertistein tire options. Now for the T7000, price is 179,000, power is 215, 255, 234, 283, 241, 291, 242, and 292. Wow, there's a lot of stuff with this. That actually looks like a pretty good New Holland tractor, and that's actually hard to say about New Holland. Okay, next piece of news is from Custom Modding. He is bringing a harvester to Farming Simulator. This is the John Deere S600 Series Combine. This is a 2012. He said, going back to the year 2012 with one of John Deere's greatest hits. This will have LED bar lights, passenger, Patriot plow, which I love his Patriot uh, stuff he puts on his harvesters, pipe extender to work 60 foot headers, Firestone, Goodyear, 1100s, dual LSWs, 12 different grain tanks, ATI, PowerFlex track, Saucy S Tech 1000X, plus a little bit more. And you guys can see, looks really good. Okay, for that one, we have some news from Mr. Hector Mods. Of course, we've been talking lately about his Carpathian countryside and the big update that's going to be coming with it. Well, he's talking about compost now. Compost is required in the orchards and greenhouses. You can make compost and composting silo from organic waste, which is a byproduct of greenhouses and the fruit and vegetable processing plant. You can also use grass, hay, and straw, or even stuff like potatoes or sugar beets, which is not quite worth using for compost, but if you have some you just do not need, you can just throw that in as well. Once your composting silo is full, after quick compacting and covering the silo, you will get compost. Compost can also be sold for a small profit or purchased in the shop. And lastly, you can also use it as fertilizer on your fields. Unfortunately though, it is only possible if you are not using the Precision Farming DLC. Unlike the custom crops, custom fertilizer types are not supported by the Precision Farming. So for now, we can only hope Giants will add support for custom fertilizers types in the future. But this looks like it's going to be a big, big update. Okay, next piece of news after that one is from 4D Modding about his Abbey 3000 T-Tanker. The 3D model is now completed and ready for texturing. No release date. He will be aiming this for all platforms. He also says we'll likely add the auto fill arm to the Abbey or maybe a DCI arm. He don't know yet. And then next, we got some good news from Black Sheen Modding. He says test, 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 and it is very positive. The map, Campaign of France, and the Man Pack have already been sent to Giants. So we could see this very, very soon. Then over the weekend, LR Modding actually uh, announced his new project, the John Deere 2720 Ripper series. He says, another John Deere implement being made by them. He will be making three versions of this great implement in sizes, 27, 22, and 17. He hopes you guys all like it. Anyways, the progress. Modeling is 80% done. UV mapping is zero. Texture is zero. Unum is zero. Giants editor is zero. And in game is zero. So this is the very, very beginning of this project. Then we have some news from Mac Trucker 921. I know this thing will be for everybody because some people don't like, you know, using cheating mods or anything like that, but there is some that do like it. 
But anyways, it says, let's try this again. After a bunch of work and reworking the original Beast Harvester idea, he likes to introduce the brand new one, the Reaper. After all, you reap what you sow. <laughs> anyways, this is just a taste. Up to 2,000 horsepower. Choice of unload pipe length to unload with 18 meter headers. Up to half a million liter unrealistic capacity choices and lots of chunky tire choices. I'm just hoping with this, he actually has like kind of a realistic version and the unrealistic version because I would probably actually use the uh, the realistic version. And now onto the last piece of news, which of course we can't end a news video without talking about Alma, Missouri from Chilpalki. Anyways, remember this is a map that is aimed for all platforms. I've been showing it off every single weekend in our live streams. Anyways, this is what's left to do on the map. He has UI splines, he has production chains to do, and some more decorations, and probably the swathing system. Additional crops will also include alfalfa and rye, and the PDA needs to be done too. Uh, he was actually making a monument the other night for the fire station, but some bad news. He actually had to take it off because it, it is not allowed on console. So, bad thing, but I cannot wait for this map. I've been saying this map is amazing. What you guys been seeing in the stream, what do you guys think about this map? I believe that this map could be the next Lone Oak for Farming Simulator, and that's very, very high praise because Lone Oak is an amazing map. Okay, and now with all the news out of the way, what's left to get to? It is the first testing list for this week. We have 23 mods on this list. Remember, guys, if they say PC, does not mean that they're PC only. It just means they're in the first stage of testing. Okay, so first we have, let's see, the Gornick Terra Softer Pack. We have the Yarra Valley, Australia. And then we have, let's see, a few console ones. We have the International S1800 Plus with the Metal Tech PP20, the John Deere 5403 2003. We have Modern Pigs Barn. Looks like that's going to be a big update. Uh, we have the New Holland Big Baylor 1290 and Farmhouse with Garage. The mods we're going to be testing is 189. Courage wait time is 11 workdays. Well, right there was all the news and testing list for today. Today's schedule, no live streams or any other video. The next video will be tomorrow with the news. And then of course, tomorrow we do have live streams, which they will be back at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, all the links to the news and testing list are linked in the description. Also, keep in mind that mods and maps never have a release date unless it is scheduled. Don't forget to smash that like button if you did enjoy the video. Also, don't forget to hit that sub button Stay up to date with everything that's going on in Farming Simulator. And make sure that notification bell is on so you're missing any of the videos here on the channel. Well, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wish I could say I was finally over you. But that's not the truth.